Here's your name tag that you'll want to wear during the trip. And this is our little welcome bag from us. And the bag is from the campground. And there's a bunch of goodies I got in there for you. Um, welcome aboard. Did you guys have a great uh, day trip? No. We had a good trip, yeah. We spent, uh, we took a time, we took four or five days to come down. You're in 87 and welcome, by the way. Here's thank you, bag. thank you. I kept... And here's your name tag. And I'm a newbie, my... I'm a newbie. So excited you're here. One of the favorite things uh, that we do at every RV lifestyle gathering is we do an RV crawl where we wander the uh, campground and visit everybody else's rigs. And we get to know everybody. Like at this uh, group right here. Hello, oh, Mike. Did you have a nice nap? <laughs> I wish I had a nap. How are you doing? Did you have a nap? I didn't have any nap. How are you? There's no napping on these gatherings. Good to see you again. Great to see you guys. This is awesome. Good to meet you. Great to see you. Everybody doing the tours? Yeah. Good morning. How are you? Good. Hey, Deb. How you doing? Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Hello. Who's all in here? Okay. Yeah, look what I found in there. Yeah. Oh boy. Does this uh, seem like home to you? Yeah, it does seem like home. This is a 2017. Yeah. And uh, I really like it. Yep. Yeah. These are travel van. Yep. Hi, Mike. Hey, this is Nelson. Yes. Tell us what you got. Ah, uh, it's a 30 foot um, Class C Form Majestic. Uh, it's on a 2018 Ford uh, E450 chassis. Uh, it's a formal re former rental unit, um, and it's uh, pretty basic, but it gets the job done. Now you, the second person I know that has a rental unit, yeah. And uh, the, the the benefits of buying a rental unit is they're so well maintained. Right, exactly, and they're they don't have like uh, one thing I've noticed on the blogs and stuff where a lot of people their interior is ripping, and then one of like that's got a real heavy grade marine vinyl interior yeah. in it, which is really nice. It's a pretty basic, uh, you know, as far as the, it's not real fancy inside, but it's definitely, it's uh, it's comfortable and it gets the job done. And it's uh, it's got a full kitchen in it, uh, queen size bed in the back, queen size bed in the, in the top. Hi, hi, hi Judy. Hi Judy. Where are the Wilsons? Come in, come in. How are you? Come in. Gotta see it. Oh, yes, please. Just Are you sweet? Nice. Home. How are you? Oh Fine. my gosh, look at this. This is really nice. Thank you. Thank oh my gosh. This is great. Well, welcome officially. Oh, yeah. yeah. Officially. Better than on YouTube. Oh, yeah. it's all good. Look at all this. What You're is in a this? Tiffin Phaeton. A Phaeton. Yeah. Yep. Diesel pusher 41.5. And what year? Uh, 2018. 2018. I love the heated floors because it really puts out enough heat when you're in just chilly weather that you don't need to turn a heater on, you know? It was mostly handling. But when I drove this, first time I ever drove it, I said, that's it. That's we have the half bath. It isn't, the half bath is so nice. It's very nice because when yeah. he's driving, I can scoot back here because this is closed in yeah and i'd have to walk over the bed and yep. then we have the washer and dryer yeah doesn't that make a difference we a just were talking difference. about that big yep. difference. this is such a huge a nice bathroom shower yeah and um yeah 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 this is great awesome Lots of storage. I feel Lots like I'm doing a review here, but uh, oh, yeah. it's, it's we gorgeous. We have four TVs. We have the one in here. We have the one above the driver, which I don't know who's going to be watching that. Isn't this fun? Oh yeah, it's we're having a great time meeting the people, seeing what they're driving, how they've uh, accommodated, made made modifications to their rigs. It's fantastic. Right. Yeah. Okay. Here's some other folks. How you doing? How you doing? I'm it's Brad. Brad Tennyson yes. from. Hickson, Tennessee, Renee. and uh, Renee, yes. and Laura, Laura from Sheepland, Florida. Um, well, you know how nice Florida is in October. That was our little secret. Uh, well, you also know it's pretty nice in Tennessee about now in oh, October, yeah. too. Yeah. So good. Is this your unit here? It is. It is. Awesome. I got to look at your unit. Sure. And uh, we'll take <laughs> a quick look. All right, I'll take a quick. Tell me what you got. Uh, this is a 2014 uh, Airstream Interstate. We've had it for about a year. And um, oh, 
How, how long have you guys uh, been RVing? Um, oh. 2013. 13? For a long time. We had a travel, we had like a 36 foot travel trailer for 10 years. We bought that so that our, um, we, we had hoped that our kids would enjoy camping, but they don't. It's, you know, same thing with us. <laughs> and you guys both have our favorite e-bikes, electric yeah. e-bikes. Make yeah. all the difference in the world, don't they? They do. They do. I, somebody said they're a poor man's motorcycle. I said, no, it's really kind of even better than that, I think. Yeah. That's great. Well, let's take a quick look at your Airstream. So how often are you on the road? Uh, we occasional. About once a month. Yeah, probably once a month. And how do you guys look at it? We love it. Look at I love the seats in the Airstream. Got your, your table right here. The swivel, these actually both swivel around really well. Yes. Yeah. And uh, of course, you can't go wrong with the quality that you find in the Airstream Interstate. This was, I think, the first of the really high quality Class B RVs. Mm -hmm. And they still have held up. Look at that. Look at your neat bed. Oh, I like your uh, bed spread. A little blanket there, yeah. <laughs> Home is where you park it. Hey there. Hey, Mike. Go walk through real quick. Yeah, walk it through. So we got the main area, Jordan's queen size bunk in the top. Nice driver's area, theater seating, full kitchen. Uh, we have a bunkhouse here, which we use for storage. A full king size uh, bed. Something Mike, especially Jen, loves is the washer and dryer. I think you probably saved your life having that. Yeah, you know, I never thought we would like one as much as we do, but it sure makes it nice. Yeah, so awesome. um, plenty of storage here. And then yeah. we have uh, the large bathroom. And the beauty of this rig is it's fully boondocking capable. So. We have solar panels on the roof. We can run for 15 hours with the panels and the microwave. If we um, run out of 15 hours, the Firefly will kick on the Onan 8000 generator automatically. Uh, we carry 150 gallons of fresh water, 275 gallon waste tanks. So we go by Mike and Jen's boondocking book, uh -huh. which has well, well, been one of the best things. And tell her to thank you. I love it when they publish our book, when they publicize our book. Um, tell us what rig we're in. Oh, this is a Renegade. It's a Renegade Verona. It's a 40 VBH, which stands for Bunkhouse. Hey, how are you doing today? <laughs> we're glad to be here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is this nice and cozy. So we've been, we camp a lot. So are you full-time? No. Yep. We, so me and my wife work at Disney. You work at Disney? Yeah, I worked at Fort Wilderness the campground. Oh my goodness, and here yeah. we are at another campground. Yep. Oh. We were together last yes, year. Yes, we sir were. Yep. And Rita. Rita. Yes, yeah. yes. So we were in Nashville. Yes. <laughs> Pretty big. Hello. Let's take Hello. a picture of the cake. 
It's a brownie. The cake? It's a brownie cake. Go look at it. Okay. Look at, look at that. Success. It'll do. Oh, those are peppers, aren't they? Yeah. Peppers. Yeah, they're jalapeno boats. They're not. They're not spicy. They're pickles. Okay, what's in this? This is mandarin oranges and or pineapple. Cheers, pudding. Right now. Oh, this is good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 Today is beach day at our gathering, and what a beautiful day it is. It's absolutely perfect. We're out here, at the, obviously at the beach, with the beautiful sand and the water, and we're going to cook hamburgs and hot dogs. We've got a pavilion that we're going to sit under so we can get out of the sun for those that don't want to be in the sun. And we are going to have so much fun. I just can't wait. Last night of our gathering at the Gulf, and it's always a bittersweet affair because that means tomorrow most of us are going to go home. But it's also a lot of fun because we always have something special. And tonight, what is special is entertainment and a catered meal and the beauty of Florida. If there's something you need to hear, you let me know. I'll pick it up for you. Much more. I'll ever know. I 
What a wonderful world. 